InnoReader tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to review InnoReader and show you how to use it. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and kindly go to InnoReader.com or you can simply click the link on the description below. And you will be directed on this page in which it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know InnoReader, it is a web-based content and feed reader that allows users to create custom feeds that include the latest stories from their favorite websites, blogs, newsletter, and social media accounts. And aside from that, InnoReader removes the need to sift through multiple sources of information to find the stories that matter to you and stay up to date with the latest news. And to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail. By clicking the pricing option on the top panel, you will be able to see some of the plan that you can avail that they offer. They have here the basic, pro, and enterprise plan. And below, you will see the corresponding prices and benefits it included. But in those plans, I'm going to choose the basic since it is free and all you need to do is to create an account for it in which you can create using your email address, your Google, and even your Apple ID. But in those options, I'm going to choose to sign in using my Google account. And you will be directed on this page. So this is the dashboard of innerreader.com. And from here, you will see on the left side panel some of the options that you can start navigating including the dashboard, read later, library, team, and add feeds option. And also, you will see here on the right side panel some of the featured feeds collection that you could also choose in order to find the best information sources that you want. And aside from that, by clicking the dashboard option on the left side panel, you will see on the right side of it the search bar in which you can find the best articles and other sources of information and you could also follow some of the account of those sources such as this the New York Times by clicking the follow button. The New York Times will appear below the article of your feeds. And aside from that, by clicking the read later on the left side panel, it will show you some of the articles that you start to save article to read later. But as you can see, we still have no any kind of article that I have been starred. So there's nothing in here under the read later. And aside from that, by clicking the library option on the left side panel, you will see here the list of the article that you have recently read or open some articles. And it says here that once you start reading, you'll find the most recent stored, read, and annotated articles in save web pages. And aside from that, under the collaborate team or team option on the left side panel, from here, you can start creating a private channels and collaborate on content with your teammates. So you can add their email address in here in order to join to your teams, which is very helpful to connect with other people. And aside from that, under the all articles on the left side panel, you will see a variety of articles that you can read and become the source of your information. And as you can see, the main sources of the article is the New York Times or the account of sources that we just followed. However, if you're looking for a specific kind of articles, you can proceed on the search bar on the left side panel, and from here, kindly enter the topic or the kind of information that you want. So let's say I'm going to enter PS5, and you will see on the right side panel under the article, or feeds, Google News, Facebook pages, and Reddit, some of the articles about PS5. And you could also follow this account in order to see more of the articles about PS5. And upon clicking follow, it will show you under the articles the account that you just followed. And aside from that, on the results on the right side panel, you could also see the Google News, Facebook pages, and Reddit results. But if you're looking for a specific article that is posted by PS5 or PlayStation blog, kindly click this option on the left side panel. And upon clicking on it, it will show you the list of the article that has been posted by PS Pipe or PlayStation Blog. And aside from that, on the top panel, if you click All Articles, 
you can filter some of the articles that is older than or you can start some articles to read later. And after clicking the start option on the article, it will show you that the article is now added to your read later option. And aside from that, by clicking on the three dots beside the article, it will show you the other option such as to create rule, to create note, mark above as read, or mark below as read. And by clicking create rule option, from here you will be able to create a condition including when new articles in a feed of this PS5 or PlayStation blog. Below you can create a condition such as if the URL does not contain or doesn't contain and after that you can simply enter the specific condition that you want. And below the then option, I just choose mark as read as a condition. And to save the changes, kindly click run rule option below. And aside from that, you could also share this specific kind of articles by clicking this icon right here. You will be able to share this on Twitter, Facebook, email article, copy the article URL, print article, save as PDF, and any other kind of option that you can share this article. And aside from that, on the left side panel, under the automation, by clicking the monitor keywords, from here you can simply enter the specific kind of keywords that you want to see if an article contain it. So let's say the keyword is PlayStation. And upon clicking enter, below the results of the article that also contains the word or keyword PlayStation. And you can simply clicking on any of those article below and start reading it. In which using this option, you will be able to find a specific kind of articles that you prefer. And aside from that, on the left side panel, under the rules option, from here, you can start executing an auction based on articles properties in which you can automatically assign tags, send push notification, and much more. While under the filters option, from here, you can remove articles based on conditions from your in-reader apps or in HTML exports. And you can delete or disable the filter at any time to see all articles or change filtering conditions. And aside from that, by clicking on the highlighters option on the left side panel. From here, you can select or enter the term that you want to highlight on any of the article that you want. So let's say I'm going to enter the word PlayStation. And below, you can select any kind of color as a highlighter to this word. And upon clicking enter, you will be able to see some of the articles that contain the word PlayStation. And it will show you this highlighted word. So it is basically same as the monitored keywords, but the only difference is that it contain a color of it. And aside from that, on the left side panel, you could also navigate the other options such as apps, plans, preferences, and contact support option. Now if we go back to these articles of PlayStation, it will show you the keywords of PlayStation that also contain a highlighted words or color blue. While on the top panel of it, you could also access and navigating some of this icon, including the notification icon, so that you will get notified if any of the account that you followed posts on articles recently. And also by clicking on the profile icon on the top right corner, below here you could also change the themes based on your preferences. So that is just how you can use InReader. Thank you.